All right, guys, so before we get started, I wanted to show you guys uh, three really important concepts to this choke. And uh, just getting these concepts down and keeping them ingrained in your head is gonna make the choke 100% easier every time you go to do it, you know? So pay close attention, or attention to these close, uh, these three details, these three concepts, and it's gonna make the whole buggy choke a lot easier for you guys. So the first one being, when we're here in the buggy choke, come on top. When we're here in the buggy choke, guys, the first concept we need to do is we can't stay flat on our back like this. You know, most situations in jiu-jitsu, you stay flat on your back, you're not going to get much from it, right? So when we're here in the buggy choke, we can't stay flat on our back. We need to angle ourselves into our opponent, right? Here, just like this. Because if we stay flat on our back and we try to grab our own leg, it's going to be hard. I might be able to get my heel. I might be able to get my toes. But to be able to get my elbow in the crook of the knee is going to be difficult. Right, because for me to finish the buggy choke, I need to be doing an uppercut, and it needs to be on the crook of the knee, right where the knee bends. Sit up real quick. Right here. This is the buggy choke, guys. I'm making this U uppercut grip, and I'm putting it right in the crook of this knee. That way, when I lock my hands together, there's just this tiny little space for his head and his arm. It's kind of ridiculous that his head and his arm really fits here, to be honest. Like, it, that's what makes this choke so tight. So come back down here. That being said, the first situation or the first tip that I want to like uh, introduce you guys to is relieving shoulder pressure and turning your hips. That way, when we go to set up the buggy choke, we have a lot of space and it's easier as opposed to just being on our backs with a lot of pressure on us. Right? That's tip number one. You want to go over tip number two, good? Sure. All right, so tip number two. Uh, go ahead, just pop. Fast forward to when we do the hip in and our opponent pushes back into us when we set up the buggy choke. As far as the finishing mechanics, this has been a detail that I've, within the last six months, kind of realized and, and it's made the choke so much, so much uh, more effective. Is that once we lock it and we have it completely tight, if you guys, if you just squeeze here, you're going to be able to finish 90% of people, right? But eventually, maybe you're going to find someone tough that's going to be very tough um, and, and just kind of durable and, and you may burn your arms out, right? With that being said, how do I avoid that? You need to curl your lat, meaning you have to almost lean into your opponent, just like so. I'm trying to, you know, make the room as small as possible for him. So as I make this grip, I lock the leg, I'm also curling into him. And that's gonna be a huge detail and it makes it so much tighter. Cool. For the last yeah. one. And for the last one, what is I guess it's dropping the heel, right? Absolutely. Yeah.